China's DF-21 and DF-26, carrier killer, missiles, how dangerous. Here's what you need to remember, China's carrier killer, just like many of Beijing's weapons systems must be thought of as part of a larger anti-access strategy. If a conflict with Washington or another great power ever occurred, China is betting on using such weapons platforms to make any sort of intervention in the Taiwan Strait, East or South China Seas as painful as possible. The weapons are launched from a mobile truck mounted launcher into the atmosphere, with most likely over the horizon radar, satellite tracking and possibly unmanned aerial vehicles each providing guidance to a target in the open oceans. It also incorporates a maneuverable warhead, or MAR, to help find its target. The DF-21D would be instrumental in striking a vessel in the open ocean or denying access to a potential opponent in transiting to a conflict zone, like in the East or South China Seas. An August 2011 report by Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense warned that, a small quantity of the missiles was produced and deployed in 2010. How capable is it? And if capable, can U.S. Navy vessels defend against it? First, to its capabilities. According to the most recent and up-to-date open-source materials I can find, the weapon indeed has been tested, however, never against an ocean-going, non-cooperative target. Additional challenges and tests remain before the DF-21D reaches its full potential. However, senior U.S. and Taiwan officials in the last two years have confirmed separately that the ASBM is in the field. Additionally, the basic support infrastructure is already sufficient to provide basic targeting capabilities against U.S. aircraft carriers operating in the Western Pacific if countermeasures are not considered. As Ericsson also noted, from the same text, the ASBM's physical threat to U.S. Navy ships will be determined by the development of associated information processing systems and capabilities. This is part of a larger analytical challenge in which Chinese hardware continues to improve dramatically, but the caliber of the software supporting and connecting it remains uncertain and untested in war. The missile components of the DF-21D already are proven through multiple tests, but China's ability to use the missile against a moving target operating in the open ocean remains unproven. The supporting command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance C4ISR, technologies probably still lag behind the requirement to identify and track a U.S. aircraft carrier in real time under wartime conditions. Improving C4ISR capabilities, however, is a high priority in China's military modernization program. U.S. countermeasures are another matter entirely, there is every reason to believe that they are already formidable. In multiple conversations with U.S. defense officials over the last year, most are working under the assumption that the DF-21D would in wartime conditions be able to at least initially target an ocean-going vessel and track such a vessel through its course to the target. Keeping in mind that Beijing would not fire just one of these missiles in combat, and would likely attack its target with other types of missiles in a saturation-style strike, there is certainly reason for concern. Assuming the DF-21D is ready for battle, can America defend against China's mighty missile? While opinions are clearly mixed, in speaking to many sources over the last several years on this topic, it seems clear there is great nervousness in U.S. defense circles. However, as time has passed, initial fears have turned towards a more optimistic assessment. Defense expert Roger Cliff, he explained that, Oh, fear the horizon radars used to detect ships can be jammed, spoofed, or destroyed. Smoke and other obscurants can be deployed when an imagery satellite, which follows a predictable orbit, is passing over a formation of ships, the mid-course updates can be jammed, and when the missile locks onto the target its seeker can be jammed or spoofed. He continues, noting an actual kinetic strike on the missile in flight might be the hardest part, the SM-3 has an exoatmospheric kill vehicle, meaning that it can only intercept the missile during mid-course, when it's traveling through space, so an Aegis ship escorting the target would have to fire its SM-3 almost immediately in order to intercept the missile before it re-entered the atmosphere, or else there would have to be an Aegis ship positioned right under the flight path of the missile. 
the DF-21D may be equipped with decoys that are deployed in mid-course, making the SM-3's job harder. U.S. Aegis ships are also equipped with the SM-2 Block IV missile, which is capable of intercepting missiles within the atmosphere, but the DF-21D warhead will be performing some high-G maneuvers, which may make it impossible for the SM-2 Block IV to successfully intercept it. How all this would work in reality is impossible to know in advance. Even after China has tested its missile against an actual ship, it won't have tested it against one employing the full range of countermeasures that a US ship would throw at it and, as you say, the US Navy will never have tested its defenses against such an attack. Somebody is likely to be surprised and disappointed, but there is no way of knowing who. Indeed, as Cliff points out, US carriers do have defenses, albeit against more traditional threats. However, it is important that we keep in mind that American carriers have been a target going back decades, and their defense has been something U.S. naval planners have been working on for many years. Warships will continue to face new and challenging threats. If the past 125 years is a guide, naval weapon designers, and operational and tactical theorists will be ready to develop systems and operational and tactical measures to counter them. The DF-21D is a new threat, but it is not likely to be an operational and tactical surprise as were the Japanese A6M-0 fighter and the 24cm Type 93 Long Lance surface torpedo to the US Navy at the outset of World War II. Open source reporting to date indicate the DF-21D has been tested against fixed land targets but not against a large moving target at sea. The US Navy on the other hand has been working to counter the ballistic missile threat for over 20 years. There is certainly time to develop an effective counter to the DF-21D. China's carrier killer, just like many of Beijing's weapon systems must be thought of as part of a larger anti-access strategy. If a conflict with Washington or another great power ever occurred, China is betting on using such weapons platforms to make any sort of intervention in the Taiwan Strait, East or South China Seas as painful as possible. With that said, there is much we don't know about the DF-21D, or how well it would work in an actual shooting war. In the end, the weapon might not be the great, game-changer, that many pointed out to be, but a great complicator. Let's just hope the only times we see this missile are on a parade route. <laughs>